One of the highly anticipated changes in GroupWise 18 is the integration of the Messenger administration into the GroupWise Admin Console. With this update, Messenger is no longer dependent on the outdated Console 1 program, and we now have the option to take advantage of the same LDAP sources that GroupWise can use. This video will present how to enable users in a new Messenger system after you have completed the installation. If you need help installing, check out the previous video on installing and configuring the GroupWise 18 Messenger server. Here I am in my GroupWise 18 management console. You'll see right here is the new menu option for administering Messenger. When you click on it, you should see your Messenger service here. If you do not see it, then the install wasn't done or perhaps didn't complete. I'll click on the server and here you can see the various options. If you have migrated from a previous Messenger install, you should see your previous settings reflected. If this is a new setup, going with the default options is fine for now. Changes can always be made as needed going forward. So how do you set up users for Messenger? As you can see, when I click on Objects and Users, I don't have any Messenger users listed. A very quick way to enable a user is to go back to the GroupWise user list, Click to select a user, then click on the Messenger drop-down menu here and select Enable. Once that processes, you'll see that under the Messenger Object, Messenger Service, Objects and Users, I now see that user set up with a Messenger account. Now let's go back to the GroupWise user list and select this box up here to select all users. If I repeat the process of enabling Messenger, I can quickly set up all of my GroupWise users with Messenger accounts. Thanks for watching. Look for future videos that will cover the Messenger client as well as a deeper look at what's going on behind the scenes with a Messenger installation. Thank you.